Hello folks, um, this is Mike Kloniger here. I told you that I would make a video about the cutting machine that I use for cutting out the graphics for the Wagner solution that I did. And so just a little rundown of what, what's going on and how it works. Um, first off, I can't take credit, total credit for this. Um, a guy in our club, guy, his name is Daryl Toolberg, uh, kind of got the ball rolling and got, he, he mentioned, you know, that I should check into a scrapbooking cutter. And, uh, so after a little bit of research and messing around, this is what I came up with. So, um, this is kind of, as far as the craft cutters go, it seems to be a pretty good quality one. It's the brand is Silhouette and it's called the Silhouette SD cutter. I think this brand, this particular one is obsolete and they knew how they now have a new one that has taken its place. Um, I want to say it costs around 199 bucks and I've had it a couple of years. Um, it, all I've cut with it is just the mono coat and the uh, ultra coat and I'm still on the first cutter knife that it came with. I bought an extra one but I haven't had to use it. Uh, but basically what the deal is is the software that comes with the cutter is kind of a watered down uh, CAD drafting program and so any design that you do um, drawing or letters or whatever um, basically you can cut out so um, what what they give you is a this is basically a sticky backed sheet and it comes in two stickies uh, a heavy sticky and a light sticky I use the the light sticky because the film steam it sticks really well so what you got to do is just take the you actually regular monocoat works the best you take the or ultra coat you, you need to take the backing off of it and um, all that you have to do is get it stuck down on the sheet and then uh, I take a uh, this is a just a vinyl uh, scraping tool scrape out all the bubbles get it laying flat on the sheet um, and then it's ready to go over and be put into the machine um, so then I just slide it in and push the there's a you gotta kinda get it into the rollers here and then you push enter it sucks it in um, and then all we need to do is hit cut. Um, the machine, it you can mess with the thickness. Um, you kind of just mess with it until you get it to where it's cutting through and uh, not cutting completely through the plastic, but cutting at least deep enough to get through the the mono coat or ultra coat. So uh, I kind of sped up the process here. After it's all done and the machine's done cutting, um, you know that's ultimately what you get after you peel and weed out all the other parts. So then the other part of it is to transfer it to the airplane. And so what I have here is just uh, this is just we call it frisket paper or transfer paper, and some of you might not know what that is, but it's just basically. Uh, like masking tape that's just bigger and so then what I do then is I would lay that nicely down on this sheet without any wrinkles pardon the wrinkles this time scrape that down get it attached then I would peel this off and it'll peel it'll pull itself off and stick to the frisket paper then I just take that over to the airplane and uh, stick that on the airplane and you just iron through it and it the the decals stay stuck to the airplane and you just peel off the frisket paper so hopefully that gets some ideas rolling and uh, that gives you an idea of how it's cutting out so thanks bye